Oh, you want to be a part of it? No? Okay, <laughs> she's out. Uh, all right, we are here. Um, Long Bell Pizza. Longview Fascination Drive and Longview Drive, right? That's right. right. Yeah. This is Clint Haynes, founder, next gen wealth, my golf buddy. Uh, he has taught me into coming to Long Bell Pizza to try their OG burger, which has. Where is it? Secret sauce, lettuce, tomato, onion, pe pickles, cheddar, with a crispy cheese ring. He said Jason's the owner, right? That's Jason's the owner. Jason and Aaron. Uh, Jason explained this a little bit to us. He's from California, and this is a mix of In N Out, a take on In N Out, and the Squeeze In, which is a famous burger spot in Stockton, California. I think they have one in Sacramento, too. Um, so you kind of look at this cheese ring. This is basically burnt <laughs> cheese on a flat top on the burger. Yeah, I took mine off. That's what it looks like around there. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> took it off. So, um, real quick before we jump into this, garlic parmesan fries. You got the, what are they? Hot, spice, rice, something something spicy rocket? fire fries, or I, mean, yeah. I don't know what they were. They're tasty okay. though. Um, real quick, Next Gen Wealth. I know what it is, but tell everybody else what it is. Uh, so, Next Gen Wealth is a financial planning and investment management firm. Uh, I started it uh, about five years ago, just being in the industry for a long time. Uh, and really geared towards a younger investor. So most of our clients are in their 30s and 40s, uh, still in those planning stages. Uh, so I kind of catered this business to specifically work for them, uh, not just investments, but uh, holistically all their financial planning needs. Yeah, a little different than most financial advisors do. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. A little younger clientele. Yeah, not, the, <laughs> yeah, not just retirement age. Uh, all right, let's dive into this thing. I'm excited. We. I mean, I don't know. I, it looks great. It does look good. We're going to try it. All right. He knows the rules. I'm going to try one. Get one without me. There we go. There's a lot going on there. <laughs> there is a, a lot, lot going on. See, what I love about a good burger is it's got a toasted bun. Correct. This delicious toasted bun. Yeah. People that don't toast their, toast their buns is so no, odd I've, to me. I've talked about this a lot. Like, oh, yeah. No, when you get a burger, <laughs> yeah. I automatically know. Now, at this point, if it doesn't have a toasted bun, yeah. it's not going to be that good. I also, we were talking about this too. This is a pizza place, predominantly. They have tacos, sandwiches. Having, they have a huge menu. Uh, pretty cool menu, actually. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's Long Bell Pizza Company. If you offer other food besides pizza in your pizza company, it better be good. It's good. Yeah. Um, the In and Out sauce seems a little. There's something like giving it like a little kick on there, and I can't yeah. tell if it's a seasoning. I think it's the seasoning of the beef. Yeah, I get it too. Um, it's messy as heck. The pickles are great. <laughs> Alright, what are you rating this thing? Uh, yeah, it's super messy, no doubt. And I'm usually like Thousand Island sauce or whatever mm -hmm. those offshoots are. I'm never a fan of those special sauces that they call them most of the time. But for some reason this one, I don't know, it's 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 not as thick as a Thousand Island. It's, it's not. Thinner. That's where I was kind of... Um, it's not. And so I, I think it's, it tastes better to me and I don't like Thousand Island. Um, but as, as far as the burger overall, I've had a lot of good burgers in my life. I would probably give it like an 8.5. That's fair. Um, it's not often this happens. Keely's getting excited because she knows what that means. <laughs> 8.9. I think it's really awesome. It's <laughs> unique. It's so unique. Like we just had Brewer's Kitchen and it was unique. This might be more unique, and it's not even a, it's not a slam to them at all. They both are totally different things, but this is just totally unique and it's delicious. It is delicious. <laughs> it is really good. I know. So good job, Jason, Aaron. You said their name. Yeah, yeah, Jason and Aaron. They're the owners. Great job. Um, yeah, I'm impressed. Nice work. Good call. Absolutely. Yeah, that's why I count on him for food and golf. <laughs> uh, 
Good one, not so much yeah. the other. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, we'll wrap it up. Um, obviously, um, real quick, this is going up today, actually. So, uh, 3609 Lake Drive still available. We are uh, scheduling an open house for next Friday. Um, it'll be a Friday evening open house to avoid the Chiefs and college football weekends. Um, great house on the water. Four bedrooms, three uh, three baths, uh, two well, two full baths, two half baths. Finished walkout basement. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. Brand new, uh, newer roof, newer AC. Uh, four bedrooms, three baths, two and a half baths. And again, two baths, two full baths, two and a half baths. Largest deck in Lakewood. Uh, walks out to the water. Large lot too. So check it out. Three hundred ninety-five thousand dollars the asking price. Uh, seller was sick for a few days, so. Back to showing it, um, and yeah, and then if you oh, and there is another one coming up on the water at some point. Uh, I know exactly what it'll be, but the next 30 days. So if you're looking for anything like that, let me know, and I'll tell you about it off camera. I know you are. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, we'll wrap it up. Good call. It was good. Awesome. I'm gonna eat the rest of this thing. Me too. So all right, see you guys. All right, see ya.